So in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to add a watermark on top of your images. So hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me on Facebook at Retail Pro because I don't have a Tronics page. But anyways, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to add a watermark on top of your images. A few of you guys requested this in the tutorials and in the comment section. So yeah, here's a little tutorial for you. I know it's a beginner tutorial, so if you're not interested in this, maybe come back next week. This week we have something for beginners again. Also, if you're brand new and don't know what's cooking with Photoshop tools, head over to our playlist section on our channel and check out 101 playlists for beginners. Great, that's it. Let's get right away into the tutorial. Okay, so over in Photoshop, first of all, as you guys can see, we've got a black background and the logo on top. Now, I quickly want to show you guys a technique. If you are new to this, please go back to the channel and have a look for this tutorial on how I've created this tutorial if you're interested in learning more about this. Now, once you've done with that, first of all, I want to show you guys another technique how to save this so you can save your logo as a watermark for the future. Again, as you guys can see, my background here is black in order also for me to see the logo a little bit better. I'm going to turn off this layer here and simply use this logo white without a background. So we just see all of these uh, pixels here. I'm basically going to go to File, Save As and going to switch to my desktop and say over here, Logo. So this should be something else. Let's go for Logo. And I'm going to switch this to PNG. And as you guys can see, now it's set to PNG, so this means it's going to be saved without a background. Again, on the desktop, I'm going to hit save here. It's going to ask me, do you want to compress this? None, small. I'm going to go for smallest, slow. Okay, so this is currently being rendered. Now you've saved your background basically without a background. Great. So say, for instance, next time you have an image now. So let's open my background layers here. First of all, we have a background layer that is a little bit darker, and then also one that's a bit white. First of all, I'm going to switch on the black one, and now we obviously want to put on our watermark on top of that image. So it's super simple. Go to your file, maybe it's on your desktop, wherever it is. Just drag it into Photoshop as I'm doing, drop it in Photoshop, and right away you'll see your watermark on top of your image now, and without a background. So I'm going to accept it here, and again, as you guys can see, it's quite big. I can actually move it around. I can also press Command T to scale this down a little bit. So I'm working with a Mac. If you're a Windows person, please press Control when I say Command. So basically Command T now, because I want to transform this a little bit. I'm going to hold Shift on the keyboard and also select an anchor point here. Now as well, guys, if you are new to this and if you're frustrated with this, please go to the channel. I've created a whole playlist for you about 101 Photoshop tools where you can learn more about all of this. So check out it out on the channel. So again, I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard, select an anchor point here, and just literally scale this down a little bit so it's equally scaling down, and until I'm happy, and drop it, and that's it. You're going to accept it from the top, take the move tool again, and literally I'm going to move it over here to my corner. So some people tend to keep it on a full opacity. I would like to actually take the opacity down a little bit. Let's also go back to our layers palette here. I'm going to move that all the way to the top, and this logo PNG layer that we have over here, I'm going to first of all take the opacity down a little bit, something to like 40%, 30%, great, so it's just shining through a little bit more. So again, some people try to put it in a dark area, some people put it right onto the faces, or again into some certain areas of the image. This is totally up to you and your taste of what you like. I'm going to switch mine over here to the corner and just keep it right over here. Now, this also suits obviously for an image that has a black type of background because your logo stands out really nicely. But say for instance you have now a white image, uh, say for instance your background here is white, so you don't even see that. So what are you going to do now? It's very simple actually. I'm going to make a duplicate quickly of this logo layer. And also, you can see it's still a smart object. I'm going to hit right click and rasterize. This is something very different, but just rasterize it if you don't want to have it as a smart object. So simply hit right click and say rasterize layer. Now, I'm going to take the opacity all the way up to 100%. You guys can see here's the logo again, but obviously it's on white, so I can't see it. So let's simply just invert this with Command I. Again, Windows people, Control I, and you will have this right away as a black 
background layer here. So the whole logo changed to black. Again, I'm going to press Command. Uh, no, actually nothing. I'm just going to select the layer and take the opacity down again. So again, you can s choose it to be like 30%, 40%, and you can also choose if you want to have it bigger or smaller or wherever you want to place this in a logo. So it's super simple to add a watermark to your images, guys. Just give it a try. Again, either you have it saved as a black layer or again as a white layer here as we had before. Yeah, so that's basically it for this Photoshop design tutorial, guys. A quick and easy method how to add a watermark on top of your images. A basic tutorial for you. And now if you're interested in checking out more tutorials, head over here left and right. We've got tons of tutorials for all of you. Also, if you're a newcomer, check out down below. Again, one-on-one -on -one playlist on the YouTube channel. And if you like this episode, don't forget to give a thumbs up there. Share it with all your buddies who don't understand anything about Photoshop. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you all in the next tutorial.